Hello there. Today we will be going to Corbalis Links in Ireland. Beautiful course, as you can see from these aerial photos. I'm not Andy, I'm his friend Gowie. Let's get to it. Here's Andy. All right, first tee, Corbalis Links. Went left to right. That's possibly the worst wind direction for a slicer like Andy. As you can see, he's aiming way to the left. Does he get his usual slice? He does. That's all right. Short, but safe. Andy is a good chipper. This shouldn't be a problem. Is it good? You like it? Four or five feet. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. It means it's close. Well done. All right, come on, straight. Easy one. Easy one. Andy is also a good putter, so this shouldn't be a problem. Did you? Told you. Thank you. Starting with a par. Fantastic up and down there. Can't complain. Yeah, so for today's little adventure here to Cobellis Lynx Golf Course, I'm playing with these three beautiful gents from right to left, Gawi, Phil, and on the tee, Glenn. Look at that beauty. If I go over the hill but to the right, I think it just goes down the hill, right? It's just, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, that's horrible over there. But beautiful view, though. Well, it's a bit chilly. But we just got to get going. That's the right attitude. Get the body moving. Okay, done went. Nice shot, Tracer. Yeah, I could roll off, but let's see. What's behind that? Hey, that's me, with a golf bag from the 70s or 80s. So here's the fairway. And down here, in the pit of despair, is my ball. But it's actually all right, because the, uh, the green is right there. Oh, it's a pretty blind approach. I've got to get just over the hill. Pitching wedge in hand. Really got to get over that hill. You can do it. No. Or not. Yeah, that's not what's supposed to happen. Mm -mm. Oh, this is the first Real challenge of these hills today. Oh. Careful. Don't fall. Oh, wish me luck. Good luck. Wish me luck. Good luck. Gotta get a full, full shot. Come on. Don't leave it hanging. Don't fall. Yes. We'll take that. Well done. Well done. That's fine from there. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in your way there. Why am I in your way? You must have been taking forever down there, or what? Sorry about that. I remember I played this hole horribly. I think I lost the ball. Got seven or eight. There you go. This range is quite makeable for Andy. He's really good at those. Take a look, take a look. Oh. Not a good strike. Ah, he's still getting used to the speed of the green. It's only the second hole, so... <laughs> Cut him some slack. Move on. Don't roast him in the comments, okay? Phil just picking up his tee, probably straight down the middle. So interesting. 
super narrow fairway surrounded by hills and dunes. I'm gonna play this rather safe. Andy with an iron of the tee, as he usually does. I don't think I've ever seen him use a driver. Yeah. That's... Oh, come on. Oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> There's, a shot is only done when it's lying still, right? It's like yeah, yeah, anything yeah. can happen. <laughs> All I want here is my mates to say, Good shot. You're all safe. I heard good shot. <laughs> I, take it. I think I saw a little club twirl there as well. Yeah, rightfully so. Right in the middle of the ferry. Okay, 80 meters to the front. Why not? First time using this nine iron. That was a bit heavy. Andy is playing these clubs for the first time, so it takes a bit time to get used to new clubs, as you all know. Oh fuck! Sorry about the language check, there. Check. Oh, that was bad. I'm not used to seeing Andy miss the green that close to the green. Is it the pressure from being on camera? I don't know. Ah, it's not good from that distance. Bit rusty in the beginning there. Ah, oh, that's unfair. Good putt. Andy in the two putt range. It's hard to get this one to go in and it's hard to three putt as well. Oh, yeah, had the speed. Good putt. Thank you. I'll finish that for seven. A silly seven. I think that's what they call them. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful par three. It's only 92 meters. But you cannot go left, cannot go right in the bunker. But it was really windy off the tee. Shooting down, hard to judge this distance. Ah, oh, come on. Like he was taking a light 9-iron. Correct me if I'm wrong, Andy, in the comments. How about some, how about some chip magic? I would like that. Nope. Ah. Not good enough. Did it just hit the bank there first? Get out of the way. You can't see the pin. Ah, thank you. Not too bad, he's still getting the feeling for the putter. Let's finish this. The great thing about being an 18 handicapper is that bogey is like a par. So you got a par, and pars are good. He's got a par, Bogey, double bogey, and triple bogey so far. The whole spectrum. Come on, get some birdie now. Slight dog leg to the left, which is not good for a slicer. But let's see what he does here with a four iron. Stop, stop, stop. Well, that's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. About 100 meters to the front of the green. Smooth 7 iron.
Nope. Not the right choice. Over the green. Oh, that's nasty. Tap it in. <laughs> this is not this is not as fun as it looks. Uh, it looks quite fun from here actually. Well done. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Good shot. Good shot, Andy. <sighs> Oh, it keeps rolling, hey? And it's getting closer and closer, I feel, with the putter. It's starting to burn the edges now. Formality. Thank you. Another bogey equals par for an 18 handicapper. I love the par three holes on this course. This is another one, just uh, under 100 meters downhill but you have to hit the green. You cannot go anywhere but on the green. Again with a nine iron, maybe again in between clubs, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe again, like a commitment thing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Would love to get inside of Andy's head right now. So how did I end up here? By using a 9-iron. What am I doing now? Using a 9-iron. Maybe he has not heard about pitching wedge before. Oh, I just gotta get out of this. Oh, that's interesting. I got out. And I got right in the bunker. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> I'll just take a step down here. Okay. Oh, he gets an applause. Thank you. Ah, it breaks quite a lot. Oh, come on, Gowie, don't put your ass in the camera, really. Okay, double bogey. I mean, it's not too bad after being in the rough and then in a bunker. This hole is a bit tricky. You cannot see the green from the tee and it's a dog leg to the left. We found that out afterwards, after the tee shot. Yeah, I think six iron is a good choice here. Not sure if he mishit that, it didn't get to the fairway. Now you can see the green where Glenn is walking there. All right, incoming. Ooh, did it hit Glenn? That was all right. There you see, it's a really tricky hole. Elevated green, surrounded by bunkers, locals in the way. We should have played with some locals for some local knowledge. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. When you hear a good shot from the locals, nothing beats that. Oh, that's a tester. Quite a lot of break in this one, from right to left. Judged that one pretty okay. That should be a formality. And he has a killer from this range. Oh, okay, I take that back. That's highly uncharacteristic of you. 
This hole is suited for Andy's slice from left to right. Maybe going a bit too much. Nope, it's fine. So here the green is on behind that hill to the right. So I can't see it. I don't want to go over the bunker because I need to lay up anyway. So I'm going to go fairly safely to the left. too far. So I went to the tea box for the next hole. That's all right, should be nicely cut grass. Oh, it's perfect there. Perfect lie, opens up the green. Well done, well done. Ah, but he got that nine iron that has let him down so far. Stay safe. But that seemed good though. Yes. I think we're on the green in three. And that's absolutely fine on a par four if you're 18 handicapper. Play it as a par five. Why not? Two pots, get your bogey. Holy smokes. Oh, that was a bad pot. Let's just say that. That was a bad pot. I think this was one of the worst pots I've ever seen, Andy. But he is really a good putter usually. Come on, drop. Oh. Nope. We're up to three pot. Okay, I have a six foot pot there for I don't know what. Hey, whoa. Are you gonna cut me out? Must mean that I missed that pot. Another part three, but this is a kind of a longer one and kind of a least linksy hole on the course. And another hole that is not suited for a slicer. Is it enough? It is enough. Good shot. <laughs> did he? Thank you. Did you hear that? Woo! That's what happens when I don't aim for the flag. <laughs> Monster birdie putt. Uh, finally putting for birdie. Come on. And this first half of the video in style. It's a lot to ask for though. Could do it. Oof. Good effort, good effort. Thank you. Good effort. Another formality. Oh, not short. Well, pokey on that hole is not bad, Andy. You did well, you did well. So the tree butter. All right, all right. 46, 14 over par. It's not that bad. I mean, he uh, didn't have his clubs. He's playing the course for the first time. It's windy conditions. Wasn't playing with a local. He had a bad taco in the morning, maybe. I don't know. And 20 putts. That's highly unusual of Andy. I promise you he's going to do better on the second nine putt-wise. Maybe not score-wise. No promises there. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Ciao.